We sure are, Walt, but it's been a hot week so mm -hmm. far. How hot will it get today? Let's get to Rob for some answers. All right, you know, uh, before a heat wave breaks out, it's always a big story because people want to know how hot for how long. But when you're in the middle of it, you kind of just, you're in, you're in the grind, and that's where we are at the moment. And now probably all you want to know is when this is going to be over. I've got good news for you. It's going to be sooner rather than later, but we still have some tough days to get through. In fact, I want you to pay attention to the top line here. It's going to be getting hotter than it's been this entire heat wave in the days ahead, but at least it's not today. Uh, we're going to be looking at some Sierra uh, showers and or thunderstorms this afternoon. We saw a few break out yesterday, certainly in the, in the town of Truckee. We got some hail as well, uh, and I'll show you a photo of that a little bit later on. But as you're starting your day, this is what we've got. If you got the Delta breeze, 50s. If you didn't, you're in the 60s. That's really the only variation in the early morning temps. And the reality is the same. This area with the heat advisory is smaller. It doesn't include southern Oregon, but it's still essentially the same area. It's not just the valley places. This includes portions of the Delta and also a portion of the Sierra as well, as we're looking at highs relative to your location that are way above average, but not quite record breaking. So it's certainly a, a heat wave that we're all going through as far as the valley spots in the Gilmore backyard and elsewhere. We're going to be hitting the upper 90s and your high temps right around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I would say right around 1 to 2 p.m. today is when you're really going to start feeling the heat and you take action to go indoors and just find some relief. Air conditioning, shade, water or otherwise. Brittany? I like it. You said you take action.